Hi, it's Kana. Welcome back to my closet. Uh, today I'm so excited because I'm bringing this one to an end. This is the Get the Bug Out Project Pan uh, for makeup items that just need to get out of my collection. They just gotta go. So on that note, I am gonna do the finale a month early. I know. I didn't really see it coming until this last month and I will tell you why. So let's just go ahead and get into it. Uh, first though, if you wanna subscribe to my channel, that would be awesome. I would really appreciate it. Like, comment, thank you. Let's talk about the first two items. Actually, let me get out my little list of usage numbers. Okay, let's talk about the Becca Hydra Mist Powder. Um, Okay, I have a picture of this that's probably going to be easier to see, but it's like way down here. The thing is, is I don't use a ton of powder, like setting powder, but I do use this uh, every time I use a setting powder. I've used it 12 times total, so it's pretty down there and it's on its way out, but not quite there yet. So the next thing is this Estee Lauder, the Smoother. It's a primer. It's one of those silicone-y type primers. This guy I've used only six times. I keep forgetting to put it on. like. I'll totally forget to put this on and then I'll have my foundation on. I'll be like, oh yeah, I'll see it over there. Totally space it almost every time. So I've used it six times, but there's still quite a bit in here. There's like a big air bubble, so you can't really see. It's very clear too, but it's like clinging to all the edges, you know. I've used it six times. Um, I don't mind using it. I, I rather like it. It does the job. I do think it blurs a little bit. And unlike the other silicone type primers, uh, it doesn't pill up with my other products. So I do actually like this. Will I repurchase it? Probably not. Because it's not something I really use. I keep forgetting about it. I don't really mind my pores too much. Um, they're there. It's fine. But anyway, this guy. Now, because of that, I haven't been using this. This is the YSL Touche Eclat Blur Primer, and I haven't been using this because I thought, why did I put two blur primers into the same project where I'm supposed to hurry up and get stuff out? You know what I mean? Um, I don't know what I was thinking. And a little of this goes a long way anyway, so I haven't used this. I think I've used it towards the beginning of the project. Uh, I used this twice in the whole deal. So I used it twice and then I stopped using it because I was using the other one, um, the Estee Lauder, the smoother, because I figured I better focus in on one if I wanna get any of it done. So there's that. This is the Cherry Cree French Pressed Coffee little um, nail polish remover towelettes. These I put in here because I thought that they're so old, they're surely gonna go bad soon. Like they must be drying out, right? But they are the weirdest. Thing. They are super thin and the um, texture of the remover is like an oil. Um, it's like a very thin oil and it really works and it's not drying out at all. So I don't feel any compulsion to finish these anymore. I actually like having these up here and my bottle of remover, like acetone remover downstairs because I feel like this has to have acetone because it works so well. But anyway, um, oh, it has cuticle oil in it. It's amazing. They're amazing. I love these. Um, but I want to keep these up here and not pan them because it's nice to have something up here and downstairs so I don't have to run around trying to track everything down when I just get the urge to take off my polish or whatever. So yeah, I'm, I don't want to pan these. Okay. Oh, also didn't mention. I used four of those at least. I used like four or five of those, but I, I'm going to say four because I didn't mark five. Um, and then the thing I use the least besides the primer is this uh, Iconic London Chrome. What's it called? So this is the Iconic London Chrome Flash Eye Pot and it is in Spellbound and it looks like this 
still. I've used this one three times. It's starting to get dried out, but I can refresh it, so that's not a big deal. Uh, the thing is, is that I have so many eyeshadow projects going on right now that I have purposely neglected this. It's like the last thing on my list. I just didn't want it to interfere with what I had going on with my pan those eyeshadows and my whole collection project pan. Those are my favorite projects. And I just really didn't think it through when I put this in. That's partly why I'm ending this early because I don't want to pan this. I can't pan this while I'm panning the other and I don't want to pan this. So that leaves me with two products. That is so boring. Okay. <laughs> that is so boring. So I'm just going to end this now and I'm probably going to put these in my partners in cream project uh, somewhere down the line. So you'll probably see these again very soon. Um, but yeah, I just didn't see the point in carrying on the project for an extra month with two items that are almost done. It's just, <laughs> it's not really worth it. You know what I mean? So I'm just going to continue to pan those on my own and not worry about it. Uh, like I said, I might put the cream products in the Partners in Cream project, but I will finish that powder up. It's in my everyday makeup drawer. I don't really see the point in having a project just for those two items. So on that note, how many have I finished? So the first thing I finished was the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, and I finished that in two uses. There wasn't much in there, so that's gone. Uh, the Brow Gal Instant Brow Gel, again, two uses. There was no way to tell what was in there, um, and it seemed like it had been going on forever, which is why I put it in this project, because I just needed to get it out of here. And after two uses, it like completely, product just would not come up on the brush. So that one was gone. The Butter London Polish in Periscope, I used that one time, it was a mini, and it was like less than half left, but I used that on four nails, two coats, and um, it got really gloopy, and I couldn't get the rest of it, and it just was gross, and I would try to put it like that fourth nail, it wasn't, it wasn't pretty, so, <laughs> so that one was done in two uses, no, one use. Okay, and then I had the Urban Decay and Jean-Michel Basquiat Cream Lipstick in Abstract. Y'all, I used that lipstick 71 times. And there was not much left. That stuff goes a long way. Eye-opening, when I'm thinking about purchasing a lipstick, I just think about that and I'm just like, mm, I'm good. If <laughs> you see my lipstick drawer, I'm good. And then I finished up the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. Uh, that one took seven uses. And the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus in Coconut, I used that 19 times. Uh, Marc Jacobs Enamored High Shine Gloss in Sugar Sugar. It was a mini and it was on its last leg. I tried to get the stopper out. It got to the point where I was like, what am I doing? I don't care. I don't care enough to go through that much of a hassle. <laughs> so I just, I was done. I used that gloss 48 times. Again, it was a mini and it was like less than half full. So there's a lot of uses in these things, guys. I forgot to tell you guys about the one product, the other product I had in here. Um, I decluttered it but it was the Lancome Big Color Mascara in blue. I don't know the name of it, but it was a blue mascara. Um, and it smelled like paint. It had a little prickly brush, which I hate those little prickly, bristly ones. I know a lot of people love them, but I swear it just depends on your lashes. And on my lashes, it just looked like I had five giant eyelashes. It's disgusting. I hate those. <laughs> it does not work. They're little short ones too. It just, those don't work on me at all. I need like a fluffy brush. But anyway, um, I hated it on my eyes. It made my eyes water because it stank so badly of like paint. So I put it in my brows and it looked really good and it held my brows unlike this crap that I'm using right now, which does not. 
<laughs> but anyway, uh, I put it in my brows a few times. So that's kind of how I used it the rest of the time. I think I got six uses out of that one. Yeah, I used that one six times and then I just decided that I hated it and I decluttered it because I don't hate pan. Um, the thing is, is what happened is I put it in my brows. I like the way it looked, but they get like real crispy. I can deal with that, but it was so hard to get out even with like my makeup remover. And I felt like it was maybe like I might be losing brow hairs over this and that it's just, it's not worth all that, but it's fine. It's in the trash now. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight things completely out of my collection. I used up eight things and I feel really good about that. It was three, no, two months, I think. And I just knocked that stuff out of here. So uh, it served its purpose and I think it, it's come to an end. <laughs> So I'm really happy about that. I'm going to put another video up here so you guys can check that out. And if you want to subscribe to my channel, please do so right over here and leave me some comments and stuff down below. If you have any questions, suggestions, anything at all. I love that. I love talking to you guys. I will see y'all later. Bye.